Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending on where you're joining us from today. We'd like to welcome you to today's session of the Azure webinar series. Hello, everyone. I'm Mahesh Prakriya, Director in the Intelligence Platform at Microsoft. I've been with Microsoft over 25 years, and I've shipped multiple different products, including SQL Server, operating systems, and developer platforms. As you've seen so far, we demoed three key Synapse Link from Microsoft. In addition to what we provide from Microsoft, we're also partnering with key vendors from industry to provide additional solutions you need to bring in data into Synapse. In that context, today I'm pleased to introduce you to Strim, a company Microsoft has partnered with deeply to provide CDC-based replication solutions into Synapse. That's where our work with Strim will come in to help you. Strim provides an avenue to help provide real-time access to data. Ensuring data analysis happens quickly by getting it into Synapse, for instance, when it is created, reducing the time to action and enhancing your customer experience. Strim quickly moves data from the source, whether it is from on-prem or from cloud, into one of the many possible targets, including Synapse, Event Hub, ADLS, or SQL Server. In this case, we will highlight how to bring in data from Oracle and Salesforce into Synapse. Here to provide you with a quick look at how all this works is Edward Bell from Strim. Edward will give us a quick demo of what it looks like to set up and move data from Oracle and Salesforce into Synapse for analysis. Edward? Thanks, Mahesh. Hi, everyone. I'm Edward, and I'm a solutions architect on the partner team here at Strim. And today, we'll be sharing two demos. Our first is a sample ticketing application built on top of an on-premises Oracle database, which focuses on selling baseball and football tickets to customers. We want to continuously offload that information to Synapse Analytics and then visualize it with Power BI to get additional insights into our business and optimize our KPIs. Our second will simulate a shoe sales store running on top of Salesforce replicate that data from Salesforce to Synapse using Stream, and again, visualize that data within Power BI, really showing what you can achieve with a 24-7 real-time feed of data into Azure. Our first step is to create a Stream cluster. This is a SaaS service where underneath the covers, Stream creates and manages an Azure Kubernetes cluster. Once we've created the cluster, we can go to the typical Stream UI. We'll go into our Stream applications which is what we call data pipelines. You'll notice that there are two applications here for a zero downtime database replication, one for the batch historical load and one for the real-time CDC process. If we go into our initial load, uh, here we can see the drag and drop interface where our simplest data pipeline is what we have here. Drag and drop a source, drag and drop a target, and you're good to go. In the middle, you can also do transformations and other processing if you'd like. Here we're seeing that we're replicating this DMS sample schema to Synapse. If we first go to our target, go ahead and validate that there isn't any data. And now we'll go ahead and start our initial load application. So what Stream will do is connect to our source Oracle database and start reading all of that data from the DMS sample schema. If we go ahead and fast forward, we can see we're going through our initial load and you can preview some of that data down in the preview window. Up top, there are counts of the source and target database, and we can also validate that by going into this application progress window with a variety of progress bars, really just to validate that your data has landed smoothly. If we go ahead and run that count star again on our target, we can validate that our initial load is successfully complete. Moving to our CDC application, you'll see it looks remarkably similar to the initial load, the only difference is we're using an Oracle reader to read from the underlying redo logs and continuously capture any inserts, updates, and deletes. Just like for our initial load, you saw there that our target CDC table is empty. So now we'll go ahead and start the stream CDC application and then start a data generator just to simulate this is, that this is actually a live database. Now you can see stream is picking up all the new changes that baseball and football ticketing data down on that preview window, as well as up top, the counts are increasing. 
Now, if we run that same select star, you'll see that here there's a 24 7 live feed of data into Synapse. We've also run Power BI on top of this target Synapse instance. So maybe you want to pull out certain metrics, uh, things like the average ticket price that you want to increase, or perhaps increase the number of sold out games. So really just showing what you can combine Stream and the Azure ecosystem. Back within Stream, you can also monitor these applications to ensure that your data lands smoothly on the target. Unfortunately, we don't have time today to show other pieces of the Stream platform, but you can also create users, configure alerts, and there is even a command line interface to create a more programmatic approach around these data pipelines. So let's go ahead and move to our Salesforce demo. Here we'll actually create an application through the same drag and drop UI using a Salesforce reader and the same Synapse target component. Just like for our previous Oracle demo, we'll go ahead and generate some sales data on our source Salesforce instance, just simulating that this is actually a live instance. So now we've generated 501 records, and we can see that Stream has read all of those records and are in the process of writing out to Synapse. We can validate that process by again going to the monitoring page and taking a look at the target output. Once we've seen an increase to that 501, now we can also validate by going to Synapse and running a select star query on Synapse. If we go ahead and run that query, validate that all of our data has landed. So same process as the historical load with Oracle. Again, in Power BI, we'll go ahead and pull in that uh, data now in Synapse and can visualize it either here just using a chart, uh, but also can create more complicated visuals with a variety of different visualizations. Now let's go ahead and generate some new data. So um, just like for our CDC process, we've now generated another 199 rows. If we go within stream, we'll sh see shortly that stream will pick up all of that new data and continuously replicate it to Synapse. So if we just go ahead and refresh our vis visualizations, now we can see that all of that new data has also landed. I know these were pretty quick demos, but hopefully you got a feel for how to build data pipelines with Stream, and that it's easy to get up and running quickly replicating transactional databases, or even SaaS services like Salesforce to Azure with a combination of the Stream Cloud Service and UI. Please reach out to partners at stream.com if you have any questions. Happy to discuss your use case in more detail on a call. Thanks everyone. Thanks, Edward, for the great demo and to the Stream team for enabling this solution.